This postcard comes from Mindanao, from the city of Cagayan de Oro and from Bukit Non, where just before Christmas 2011 more than 2,000 people died because of the effects of the hurricane Sendong, where the rivers were so swollen that thousands of houses were flushed into the sea. From the relative luxury of the Terminal 2, the Philippines Airlines Terminal in Manila, we flew to a completely different world. We saw the statistics, we saw the pictures at the seminar organized by the Council of Asian Liberals and Democrats on Climate Change. But nothing really prepares you for seeing the place where the disaster actually took place. Thousands of people lived here. When the storm came, around two in the morning, and they were all swept into sea. houses up there on the ridge. They thought that they heard cats wailing when they were celebrating their Christmas parties there. It was actually thousands of people being swept away. And amazingly, some of the houses have been repainted and rebuilt already. disaster over, the rebuilding of houses is beginning in a different spot where there is no such risk of the flooding. As they finish, they'll move down. No, no, I mean, when they finish. This was no, nothing two weeks ago, so it's very fast. There was none of these two. The first was just that, that one where the president laid the, it was the first structure. So I guess they're doing it fast, two weeks. Look. <laughs> It's very, because some are prefab, they're prefab, prefabricated. You just... Ch -ch -ch -ch. How about the trees? Oh yeah, the, 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 it, yes. And this is not... And then right on the way to Bukit Nong, here we find ourselves just in the house where General MacArthur stayed when he was well, fleeing the Philippines for the Japanese in 1941. <laughs>
part of our discussions took place at Kampong Wan, the Eco Adventure Park that has been set up by the family of our good liberal friend, Secretary Nereke Costa, where we looked into climate change and the effects of it, but also saw what sort of future ecotourism can have in the Philippines. A very exciting project. <laughs> Oh, going back. Oh, this is our time. Yeah. <laughs>